Today's marketplace is international, and if you have built or are in the process of building an Office add-in, it is worth your time and effort to localize it for other languages. Using Add-in Express, localizing your Office COM add-ins is a simple and straightforward process that makes it easy to turn this into this. This short demo will show how to localize a custom Excel ribbon to support both English and Spanish. Okay, so I have Visual Studio 2010 open, and what we'll do is create a new ADX COM add-in project, which is if you open up the new project dialog, it's in the installed templates other projects under the extensibility node. And I'll select this and I'll call the project name localize. I'll say OK to, to create the project. And for this project, I'm going to use C Sharp and use uh, Microsoft Office 2000 and above as my interopt assemblies. And I'll say Next. And I just want to support Excel for this demo. And for my strong name, I'm going to go ahead and generate a new one. And I'll say Finish. When Visual Studio completes creating the project, it goes ahead and opens up the add in module.cs for us, which is the code view of the main object inside of a ADX com add-in. I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and just say view designer where I have my designer and I'm going to go ahead and say show large icons and I want to add an ADX ribbon tab and while I'm at it to make it easier or quicker I'm going to add a image list and for my image list we're going to change the size to 32 by 32 and then I'm going to open up the images collection editor and I'll add a couple of images and I've already opened it up here to my projects icons and I want to add these two icons and I'll say OK. These icons are going to be used when when we're designing the tab and here I'll just go ahead and we're going to add a couple controls and notice just the nice designer if you're not familiar with it I can select the ribbon tab control and we see the visual designer down below and I will select the tab and I'm going to add a group which we need a group before we can add any other controls and then I'm going to add two buttons and now we'll just walk our way back up. So with the tab, I want to change. I'm going to leave all the names really as the default names, but we'll worry about changing the captions or the text. And here we'll make it make its property value be archive for caption. And then for the group, let's just say document history. Now for the first button, I'm going to start out by changing its size to large. I'll do this for both. I'm just double clicking in here. I could also click on the arrow and select a value there, but double clicking toggles between the values, which is what I was doing. And Now let's go back to this button, the first one. And the first button, I want it to say View Document History. and make this a little wider just so we can see. And then for the second button, I want it to say View Cinder History. And for the icons, I need to set the image list to the image list I added. And now I can select an image. For this guy, I want to do Image 1. We'll do the same thing for the first button. And I'll do Image 0. So at this point in time, I have a nice, although simple, custom ribbon with some nice icons and some text. It's enough text that we can show the localization bit, which all that's really required is one, is to enable localization, which is done by, we can just click in on the add-in module anywhere instead of image list or any of the controls on there. I'm just going to click in one of the gray areas so that I'm actually, if you look in the properties, I'm, I have the add-in module selected. And what I want to do is I want to change the localizable property to say or to be true and then 
I can come in here and I can select from all the available languages. Right now we have def the default language. So whatever would be the default it's, is uh, going to be what we've done right here. The default language will be English in this case. And I'll go back to the add-in module. And if I go to all the way down here to Spanish, I'm just going to do the main Spanish and none of the other variants. Now I can begin to change the values. And we'll see right now we have this add-in module resource file which is containing all of the values for the default uh, text. Now what I'm going to do is come in here and change the caption to Spanish values which would be archivo. And then for view document history we'll change this to be which is ver historia del documento and we'll do the same for view sender history we'll change it to ver historia del remetente now there's probably some accents on here that I should have but I'm not going to worry about that for this demo and then the last thing I need to do is select the group the ADX ribbon group one and I'll change its caption to well, for short, I'll just do Actividad del Documento. And we're set. Notice now, too, I have, I have two resource files now in the Solution Explorer. One's the default, and then the add-in module.es for Espanol, or Spanish, as well. And we could just continue on and continue to do things. Um, like if I had different variants, if I knew the ins and outs of every... Uh, derivative or, or variant of Spanish, I could go in here and choose Costa Rican Spanish and, and make changes. Or if I wanted to do the same thing in English, I could come over here and do, say, you know, English Ireland or, or things like that. So some of the variants that you could do that. In this case, we're just going to leave it with the default and with Spanish. And I'm going to build the project. and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll run it. Right now my settings are set for English and we'll run it and you'll be able to view it in Excel and, and that in, in, with English and then um, I'm going to change, I'll show you how to change the settings in Windows and then we'll also run this in Spanish. So first up we'll just do, uh, well one I need to go ahead and register the project onto my system so I'll do register ADX project from the build menu say okay. Now I can just go ahead and start debugging. And this will open up Excel 2010 and we'll be able to view the archive custom ribbon. And there it is. And we have view document history and view sender history. Unfortunately they don't do anything but uh, that's okay since we're just looking to change localization settings and demo that. So now I will close here and I'll go over to the control panel where if we look in the clock language and region section we can do change keyboards and other input methods and on that tab keyboards and languages I have the choose a display language option with English and Espanol uh, available and these are the languages I've installed on my system uh, whatever languages you'd have to be sure and install the languages that you want to support or test on your system and and, and to be able to view it so I, I'm going to go ahead and say Spanish and OK and it wants me to log off so I will go ahead and log off and re-log back on and, and I'll, I'll, you'll join me back there for the rest of the demo. Okay so I'm back and I'm logged into my system and the settings have been reset to use Spanish and we can see that by clicking on the start menu and just from the text uh, we see that things like documentos and imágenes and all this stuff that's really Spanish. So what I'm going to do now is I will open up Microsoft Excel 2010. And if we look over here, okay, so my tab now automatically says archivo. And then also we have the, the Spanish text for uh, my command buttons as well as the uh, group control. 
So as you can see from this demo, making a localized Office COM add-in using Add-in Express is simple. Now it may take some time to walk through every control and, and set its caption property and all that, but still, localizing is a simple matter, which is a very powerful feature as you look to deliver your add-ins to different markets or support different languages.